More commitment coverage now. Nebraska's District 2 is being watched closely by political scientists everywhere. Well, the Atlantic partnered with the Flatwater Free Press for Nebraska's State of Our Union event, and Nebraska's split electoral vote was one of the earliest panel discussions. Okay, hey, TV News Watch 7's Quinicia Fraser joins us live. Quinicia? Bill, Julie, in today's discussion about the split electoral vote, two state senators on different sides of the issue took the stage at UNL. With how close the race seems to be between former President Trump and Vice President Harris, a UNL political science professor says District 2 could end up being the deciding vote. It was just last month when Nebraska Republicans tried again to bring back winner take all. Governor Jim Pillen brought in South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham to the governor's mansion. The goal? To convince a few registered Republican state senators to vote yes on a bill that would allow a special session to vote on bringing back winner take all. If every other state besides Maine is going to do winner take all, it behooves Nebraska to follow suit just so that we're not splitting our relevance nationwide. State Senator Julie Slama spoke in favor of bringing back winner take all in a panel discussion at UNL Wednesday. But State Senator Danielle Conrad says Nebraska's split electoral vote makes sense and other states should follow suit. I heard from Nebraskans across the state and every political party that they were deeply concerned about changing the rules at the last minute in the middle of the election this year. An election that UNL political science professor Dr. Kevin Smith calls unusual for a number of reasons. You have, um, you know, one nominee who was the president then lost um, re-election. And Smith points out the way Vice President Kamala Harris became the Democratic nominee. It's very unusual for a president literally in the middle of a re-election campaign step aside. He says it's possible that a single electoral vote like District 2's could end up deciding who will lead the country. For a single state as small as Nebraska to be in a position where the outcome of its elections exercises that sort of outsized influence on national politics is just incredibly rare. Smith also talked about how politically divided the country is right now. He thinks this year's unusual election is both a cause and reflection of the country's division. Julie? Thanks, Quinicia.